Hi, Kipsters. Happy Thursday. Really pumped to be reading our brand new text together today called Streganona. I love this book. I think it's so cute and it's such a fun story. This is a brand new book, so I know that no one has read this with us this year yet, so make sure that you guys are watching the read aloud above. You guys have definitely not watched it, so I expect all of you to make sure that you are reading the text first before watching the lesson with me here. So after you guys are done with that, let's jump right into our lesson of the day, which is using illustrations and words to describe setting, characters, or plot. So today we're going to be focusing on plot. That's not something we've looked at in online learning, so I'm really excited to do that with you today. So we're going to be looking closely at illustrations and words in our book to figure out questions about the plot. So we know that the words in our text are really important, but we also know that the illustrations in our text give us a lot of information as well. And good readers make sure they're always using words and illustrations to find out more about the story. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And then our question will be focusing on the entire lesson is what do the words and pictures tell you about the plot? And then the four sections of the plot that we're going to focus on are characters, character motivation or what the character wants, problem, and solution. So for our first question, we are going to be answering this question, except we're going to be, excuse me, we're going to be looking at page one. So I will be answering this first question, what do the words and pictures tell you about the plot on page one? So of course we have to flip to page one and take a look there, and then look at step one. So step one is, what are you describing setting, characters, or plot? Of course, we know we're focusing on the plot. So on to step two, read the words closely. So let's take a look at page one, and then I will read the words closely for you. In its, excuse me, in a town in Calabria, a long time ago, there lived a little old lady everyone called Streganona, which meant Grandma Witch. Although all the people in the town talked about her in whispers, they all went to see her if they had troubles. Even the priest and the sisters of the convent went, because Streganona did have a magic touch. So here in the description, in these words, it's telling me that even though all these people whispered about Straganona, they don't know how she had these magical powers, they all still wanted to come see her because there was something magical about her. She could make miracles happen. So moving into step three, look closely at the pictures. So of course the pictures here match the words. We can see all these people waiting in line to see Streganona, to see her perform some kind of miracle that they need from her. And even though we can see them also whispering up here, they can't even help themselves but come visit her and ask for her help. So moving into step four, what do you learn looking closely at words and pictures? So remember, when we're looking at the plot, we're thinking about these four things. We're thinking about characters, character motivation, problem, and solution. So of course, this is the very beginning of our story. It's only page one. We're not going to be having inf any information on the problem and solution yet, or really character motivation either. But we are giving some, sorry, getting some information about the characters. And we're learning about Streganona, right? On this very first page, we learn all about her, about what the townspeople think of her, and the things she can do with her magical powers. So, when I'm thinking about the plot, I know that on this page, page one, I am learning about the characters. And the character I'm learning about is Streganona, right? So I'm learning that many people come to see Streganona when they need help because she has a magic touch. And that's what I learned about the plot on page one. And that's how I followed my steps to do that. So now I'll need your guys' help to answer this same question. What do the words and pictures tell you about the plot on page eight? 
So now we're going to be moving on to page eight. So step one, what are you describing, setting, characters, or plot? You guys know this. Go ahead and shout it out. Which of the three things are we going to be looking at? Setting, characters, or plot? Everybody say plot. Great job. Moving into step two, read the words closely. I will go ahead and read those words closely for you since I have the text right here. So at this point in the text, Dragonona had gone away. And Anthony now wants to convince the townspeople that she has this magic pot of pasta. So let's read this page, page eight. And this is what happened. The next day when Big Anthony went to the town square to fetch the water, he told everyone about the pasta pot. And naturally, everyone laughed at him because it sounded so silly. A pot that cooked all by itself. You better go and confess to the priest, Big Anthony, they said. Such a lie. And Big Anthony was angry, and that, he, and that wasn't a very good thing to be. I'll show them, he said to himself. Someday I will get the pasta pot and make it cook, and then they'll be sorry. So here on this page, I'm learning that he tries to convince the townspeople that there's this magic pasta pot, but they do not believe him. They laugh at him, and he is angry, and he claims that he's going to show them that he's right. So now, moving into step three, look closely at the pictures. So now I'll need your help. I want you guys to look closely at this picture and tell me what you notice about the picture. What do you see? Who do you see? What do you notice about their faces? What does that tell you? All right, friends, so what I noticed about this picture is I noticed I have my townsfolk right here and I have Anthony right here. And based on the look on Anthony's face, he looks very angry. And he looks angry because the townsfolk right here are smiling at him, possibly laughing at him, not believing his story that there's a magic pasta pot. And he looks very angry just based on his frown and his eyebrows. We can tell that he's angry that the townsfolk don't believe him. And then the words tell us, remember, that Anthony is set out to st prove the townsfolk wrong. So he looks really angry and like he kind of wants to prove them wrong. So moving into step four, what do you learn looking closely at the words and pictures? So looking closely at the words and pictures, I want you guys to think, what do you learn about the plot here? And think which parts of the plot could this page be focusing on? Characters, character motivation, problem, or solution? What do we learn about the plot here? Characters, character motivation, problem, or solution? Go ahead and shout it out. All right, friends, I think we learned about the problem. And the reason I think we learned about the problem on this page is because Anthony has a big problem, right? He's one of our main characters in the story. He has a big problem that these townsfolk don't believe him, and it's making him very angry. He knows that this magic pot exists, but these townsfolk do not want to listen to him. They're just laughing at him, and they're making him look foolish. They're making him look like he's not very smart and that he doesn't tell the truth. So I would say that this helps us learn about the plot because we're learning about the problem in the story, which is that Anthony is not believed by the townsfolk. All right, friends, thank you so much. Great job. And we are going to move into our last question of the day. I will go ahead and show you the page we're referring to, and I will read you the question. So remember, this is at the very end of the story. We have Anthony who is forced to eat all this pasta because Stregonona says that that's the only way to solve the problem. He must eat the pasta 
all the pasta that's overflowed into the town. And then the, the words on the page say, and he did poor big Anthony. So looking at these illustrations, once again, we're answering the question, what do the words and pictures tell you about the plot on page 28 to 29? A, Anthony eats the pasta to solve the problem, but he looks very full and uncomfortable. B, Anthony eats some pasta, but Streg and Nona eats the pasta as soon as they get into the house. C. Stragonona didn't want Anthony to eat the pasta, but he did it anyway, making her very mad. D. Anthony is excited to eat all the pasta, but doesn't get full even by the end of the story. Make sure you guys are answering the question in Google Classroom, looking at the picture. Great job, friends, and see you all next week.